What's going on guys, this is Kasi and today I have my first episode in this tutorial series that I'm gonna bring to my channel. Um, I'm gonna put up one tutorial every week. Um, yeah, and today I thought I would show you guys how I made the cinematic where I put a in-game solder on a 3D space or a 3D plane. Um, and show you pretty much how I did it, so... But before we start, uh, I would like to ask you guys if you could leave a little like on this video uh, to show your appreciation that I started these tutorials and it really shows me that you want to see more of this, so yeah. Um, I don't know, uh, that's pretty much everything to start off with. Um, let's do this tutorial. Um, so first of all, the most important part of this tutorial is pretty much to have... Um, I don't know which map pack it is, but it's the map pack on Black Ops 2 uh, with the, t the, the map studio. Um, since this map has some pretty cool spots for green screens, especially in this room you can see here. And that's what we're gonna work with with this tutorial. So um, I have my cinematic here. I just used dolly cam and uh, I went in game and run forward a little bit and shot my gun so I have a lot of camera cinematic here and I'm gonna show you guys how I did uh, the 3D tracking and uh, 3D space shit and all that stuff so first of all what we're gonna do is we are gonna track this um, and I'm gonna use the camera tracker inside of After Effects um, so I'm gonna cut off here and come back when I'm done okay the tracking is done and we got some points here um, I'm just gonna scrub through to see everything looks fine. All right, it does. Okay, so we're gonna create a camera, and I'm gonna choose um, these three points, and I'm gonna create a null and camera. We actually don't need a null, so I'm gonna delete that. And next off, um, it really depends on what you wanna create in this scene, but I'm just gonna do a uh, grid again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into new. Um, layer new and solid and I'm gonna just choose a black solid here so um, let's see um, we are gonna oh shit I don't have the window we are gonna create uh, create create I mean we're gonna choose a vector um, there's called grid so I'm just gonna search for it here in this effects and presets um, it's simply called grid oh my god grid what there we go, generate and grid. I'm gonna drag it onto this plane and I'm just gonna leave it like this pretty much. Um, might actually, oh shit. Maybe I'll, yeah, I think I'll make it a little bit like this. That looks pretty good, I guess. Um, and what I'm gonna do now is I wanna create it in 3 space by clicking this. And as you see now, the whole thing messed up, and obviously you have to correct it so it looks nice in your 3 space, so this might take a little bit of time to line it up perfect. But I'm going to start off doing this and see what it looks like. Oh shit, no, that's not good. So I'm going to drag it down a little bit. And this takes some imperfection, really, to make it look like it's... On the spot where you want it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, all right. So let's see. Now I don't want to mess with the X Y rotation. Um, damn, this is gonna be boring as hell. Um, I I think I'll drag it along a little bit right here. Maybe scale up like this. Yeah, I have to drag it down a bit, I think. And right. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Um, yeah. <laughs> Man, this must be boring to watch. Wait. Um, yeah. Maybe something. Yeah, that looks pretty good, I think. Kind of looks like it's sticking to the ground, so... I'm actually gonna run with that. Um, so what we're gonna do now is we are gonna make this invisible, um, and now we're gonna 
Mm, let's see what we're gonna do. Um, yeah, we are gonna key out this little guy over here. So what we're gonna use. We are gonna click layer, and we are gonna click over to keying and key light. Uh, it's gonna choose a color. Go pretty close to him to get the best result. Um, maybe like here. See, we already got some transparency going on there. So, first of all, we are gonna do. Um, what are we gonna do? We're gonna actually make it a solid black on the back side. And we are gonna look here how this looks. So, as you see here, his feet start to touch the ground. And that is some parts that we have to, you know, key out manually. But for now. I'm just gonna create a mask around him. Really rough mask, really. It, it's not not really important to do go exactly on his edges. So, just gonna do it like this. And as you see, we have him here. But if you scrub through, we have to animate the key, uh, the mask. So, I'm gonna go into mask, mask, and click mask path. And I'm gonna go close to him. And here, really, is also a part where you really have to. You know, adjust it to your scene. Maybe like make this a little bit bigger. Mm. Like this. Let's see how that looks. Ah, yeah, it looks pretty fun. And then we can go one second forward here and drag it up. Drag out the points. Uh -uh. Let's see here. And we obviously want to mask around the foot uh, or his feet. Sorry for my really bad English there. And um, make it perfect around his feet. So down here. So yeah, we start to get a little bit of ground there. This is key out, but I think it's pretty alright. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna drag this over. Here, insert the plane. And as you can see, he's on the plane right here. But obviously you can do much better work than this. Uh, this plane is pretty shitty. And you can put some color correction and put flares and track smoke and so much more in this scene to make it look better. Um, but this is pretty much the basics of it. And this green screen is so useful. Like, you can do so much stuff with it. So... I really encourage you guys to mess around and try to use it your way. Um, uh, it brings a whole lot of different stuff to the, to the Black Ops 2 editing. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this little piece of thing that I did. Um, let's actually blur this a bit so we get a better result. Uh, I'm going to put up some camera lens blur. Uh, yeah, this looks pretty fine too. Put some, I don't know. I'm just gonna put some random effects on it. I am gonna put up fine edges, and he looks like shit. Okay, we're gonna actually drag this off a little bit. There we go. I don't know. You can just do whatever, but this is how I did it, and it's pretty nice. I like it. So can't wait to see what you guys do with this, and I uh, hope you like this tutorial. As I said. Please consider leaving a like rating. Uh, it really shows me that you guys want more tutorials. And I'm really going to be active with this. Um, I think I'm going to have a set day where I'm going to upload them. Not sure yet, but yeah. Um, also, I'm going to do some 3D uh, tutorials as well. In maybe 3ds Max or Cinema 4D. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing too. Um, please leave a comment saying what you guys would like to see um just direct me to an edit direct me to an effect or whatever you want to see oh excuse me um and i'll consider making tutorial on it like yeah <laughs> i don't know that's yeah pretty much it um hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and i've been uh Kazi? i don't know i don't have an outro yet but yeah, thanks for watching guys, uh, have an awesome day, and I'm out, bye.